In this short video, we're going to look at the AVB 580 series drive troubleshooting through the I.O. control panel menu. At this point, we are going to take a look at the ACH 580 drive and we're going to look at I.O. and I.O. monitoring and I.O. testing through the keypad using the I.O. test area. At this point, all we have to do is hit menu. We can go down the I.O., hit select. Once we get into the I.O., it shows us our digital inputs. DI1, 2, 3, 4 is high, 5 is high right now. Okay. And technically 5 is not used anywhere, but it's showing high right now. Uh, DI6, we have AI1 showing 0 volts, AI2 showing 0 volts. And the relay out 1, 2, and 3, relay out fault not, is high because at the current moment the drive is not faulted. You can go down. There's your analog outputs, one and two, and an I.O. extension card if you have one. So let's get back to the digital inputs and look at what we can do with this. As you can see right here, DI4 is high right now. I'm gonna change the status of DI4 and make it low. There it is. At that point, a start interlock for Freestat has occurred. So let's say you're at the customer site and you come up to a drive and it has a start interlock fault already. And the customer is saying, we already checked it and the free stat's perfectly fine. It shouldn't be doing this. And you can go into how to fix and it's saying, check the single source for the start interlock programming in parameter 2041. Well, we know it was all programmed correctly and the customer's claiming that the single source is fixed. So you could take the cover of the drive off and do a voltage check to see if DI4 is high, has power to it. Or we can go in and verify that the drive is programmed correctly. So I'm going to hide this so I can get into the programming. And back to where we were, we're going to say our main screen, menu, I.O., select. And then in the I.O. section, we're going to see DI4 is showing low. As far as the drive is concerned, DI4 has no input. Well, I want to verify if DI4 was high, would the fault go away? So I'm going to go to DI4 hit select. From there, I'm going to go to force the value. I want to force the input value state. Hit select, and then the input state, I want to force it to on. Right now, it's currently off. So I'm going to hit right arrow. I'm going to go to on, hit save. And now, it's been forced on as far as the drive is concerned. The actual value now is 1. So I hit back from here. DI4 is showing 1 right now. If I back out of this, I can go check my faults, okay? Uh, at the current moment, the drive's in off status. I can start in hand mode, and the drive will start. So as far as the drive's concerned, the free stat is no longer an issue. Now, obviously, you don't want to leave it this way because you are troubleshooting right now. Plus, what will happen is the drive will, once you cycle power, any type of force settings will disappear. So right now, what we want to do is we want to go back and take our look at our force settings. I'm going to exit here, go to menu, go back to our I.O. And I'm going to look at our DI4, select. And I'm going to go to the customer saying, well, I forced the status of DI4, and I'm going to unselect it right now. And by doing this, I can get back to our main screen again. And if I hit start, drive cannot start because the start interlock is missing. Check the interlock. How to fix. And there's our start interlock DI4, which is missing. So our, our fault has come back to us now. What we can do now is we can tell the customer that there is a wiring problem. It's not coming to the drive, the information. And let's say the customer figures it out and then fixes it. That was a, it was a wire down at the Freestat or something like that wasn't connected. Now, at this point, I've just changed the status of it. So I'm back down to a fixed stat. You know, I fixed the I.O. And if I go back into here, I will see DI4 is high. Okay. And I can get out of this and I can start to drive without the fault. Other things I can do now. We can take a look at some other parameters real quick. Select. Let's say in auto mode, 
and auto mode, AI1 is my input. So I can turn my AI1 input up right now and you'll see it change as the voltage goes up because I'm changing the analog input. And analog input is set up to be in auto mode. So I'm going to go to auto mode right now. Auto mode on top of the drive. And I'm going to turn the drive up, turn it on to get it to run. Now you can see the speed reference is 6 hertz. And if I change up my uh, analog input, I brought up the 44 hertz, 52 hertz. And right now we're at 8.75 volts, 52 volts. I'm going to bring it back down. Now it's at zero volts, and so the drive has a zero you know, reference input. Let's say I'm being told that I have a five volt input and the drive is not operating, okay? And the drive turns on. See, right now the drive's the, no turn of the arrow, so the drive is off. I'm gonna turn the drive on again. And actually what happened, I'm doing is I'm turning on DI1. DI1 is my start source right here. The drive is blinking, but it's no speed reference. And so I'm gonna go down, look at our analog input, and say, hey, we have a zero volts at the analog input. Well, no, we're sending you five volts. We know we are, and that's what we hear. Okay, let me check this real quick. I'm going to go in. I'm going to force this value. Actual value is showing zero right now. I want to force this value to a different value. So I'm going to force the input. Hit select. When I get the option to force the input, it'll give me an option of what I want to force it to. Force the value, edit, and I'm going to go in and put in five volts. Now look at my speed reference up on top. It's zero hertz right now. I'm gonna hit save. And as far as the drive's concerned, it now has a five volt input on analog input one. And we can see the drive went to 30 hertz and now the drive's accelerating to 30 hertz. So at this point I can say, I'm unselecting this because I don't want to use it. But at this point I can go, okay, I'm seeing zero volts to drive. I know the drive is programmed correctly because I put five volts into the drive by you know, forcing it to five volts. The drive is following that speed reference. At this point, we need to troubleshoot the actual wiring and make sure it actually is getting the voltage that we expected to get for a speed reference. Of course, this would work in amps, milliamps, you know, whatever we have it set up for, for our analog inputs. Same with analog uh, relay outputs. Right now, running is a relay output. It's showing it's running. I'm in running mode at zero hertz right now. So I hit stop on the drive. I'm gonna stop the drive. Okay, now the running contact is closed. Well, let's say we weren't sure about this and for some reason you wanted to test that real quick. You could go into select and just like everything else, you can force the value status and you can change the status to on, force it on, or you can force it off depending on what you're doing. And at this point, Relay 1, Relay 2 has changed status. So, turn it off. There are some quick things you can do just looking at the I.O. menu for troubleshooting a drive. Thank you for watching this video on the ABB 580 series drives.